short video just to show you how to first log in to the mailing list server and then some of the things you can do there. So uh, first thing to do is to go to this URL that you'll have received, lists.bclibrary.ca. Um, once you get there, on the mouse over the login uh, button, and uh, because you haven't logged in before, you don't have a password yet, so you will use the first login feature. So if you click on that, it'll take you to the screen, and all you need to do is uh, put in the address with which you subscribe to the list, and then just say request first password. And right away, that'll send an email through. Um, and then once you uh, have uh, received that email, in it, it'll bring you over to this page to set a new password. And then submit that. So it's it's done two things. It's set the password and it's logged you into the service. So if you want, you can set if your name is not already set up in relationship to your email address, you can set that. Um, the other things you can do on this page, and this is something you can always get back to under the preferences once you're logged into the system, uh, change your password if you need to. Um, and then there's a chance, uh, say, uh, you, you know, a scenario where this happens occasionally, uh, someone gets married. Uh, changes their uh, maiden name to a married uh, last name uh, and because of that has changed their email address. So your email address has changed. You can come in here and put a new email address in here and change it and it'll ch change the subscription from your old one to the new one. You could also contact the list administrator who will let us know and we can do that manually for you if you want. Once you're lo logged in here, there's a couple of other things you can do. If you click on the home button, that takes you through to uh, uh, this set of uh, features. The main one you're looking for is My Lists. Um, if you click on it, it'll show you the lists that you're subscribed to. Um, you may well find more than one here if you are a BCLA member and subscribes to lists. Uh, we do multiple lists for them as well as other organizations within the province. So it's quite possible you'll find multiple ones. In this case, I'm subscribed to the ABCPLD discussion list here. Um, and so you have a couple of uh, choices. You can go uh, to the home page for that list by just clicking on it. And you'll see that uh, just describes what the list is about. Um, and it gives you a couple of choices here uh, on the uh, uh, left-hand side. Uh, so the main ones you're going to want to look at uh, are so subscriber options. Uh, clicking on that, there's uh, a couple of things uh, that will allow you to do. Uh, one is change the, the receiving mode, which is how often you get email for this list. Uh, the standard, uh, when you're set up, it's to get every message that's sent to it. If it's a high volume list and you're finding you're just getting too much email from it, but you don't want to unsubscribe, uh, a great choice is to uh, change this to uh, the digest format. And that'll send you an email uh, once a week on Friday with all of the messages for the week uh, rolled up together. So you can set that there. The other thing uh, you can do uh, that you may like to do is suspend your subscription. So you're going on a holiday. Uh, you don't want the mail to be delivered during that time. You can come in here and set a uh, uh, start and uh, end date for when you're going away and suspend your subscriptions. The last thing I want to show you uh, about uh, once you've logged into the web interface for the mailing list are the archives. So if you come to the archives, um, so we've only done a couple of test messages here just for illustration, but you'll see that uh, in here you've got a few choices. So uh, it will show you uh, all of the months for which the li lists uh, have been active when you scroll over them, uh, it'll bring it to that month. You can view it in either chronological or threaded order. So uh, uh, threading can, can be quite useful to sort of get the sense of a conversation where people have been replying back to emails. And then finally, 
um, areas of uh, search feature. You'll notice there I just searched on the word test, um, and it came back actually with both of these. Uh, uh, in addition, there's an advanced search feature, and this is handy because it'll allow you to, for instance, just uh, as an example, you could say, just show me uh, all the emails uh, sent by this particular person. And sure enough, there it is, one hits a message in the from field uh, on that particular discussion there. And so uh, you can, in the advanced search, you can also uh, uh, constrain it uh, by um, uh, parts of words, uh, uh, the subject of the message, if you recall, or even a date constraint. So if you want to just uh, constrain it to uh, certain dates. Um, uh, so that's basically what you can do once you've logged into the uh, web interface of uh, Simpa. Hopefully that's helpful for you.